so far, we've talked about servers, storage, networking, and data centers. But why do we need any of that since we have cloud, right? <laughs> well, cloud is nothing more than a data center or a collection of data centers, plus an easy way to reserve capacity for a certain amount of time to run your applications and store your data without owning any of the infrastructure. You are just using it as a service. And that's the topic of today. This is already the sixth video in our series, Introduction to Enterprise IT. If you haven't seen the first ones yet, I will leave the links down below. This video is a short version of the full course module that all our students at Tech Enthusiast Academy have access to. If you are not a student yet, sign up at academy.techenthusiast.com. Let's go to the clouds. So we have a traditional three-tier data center. So we have, let's say, three compute nodes. And these days we are, of course, clustering everything using some kind of a virtualization method. In this example, let's use a hypervisor, which is server virtualization. And then we can run a bunch of applications. What we also need, we need uh, networks. LAN network to make all the servers or hosts talk together. A SAN storage area network to provide access from all the servers to the storage area network, so the shared storage. There you go. Very, very simple, traditional three-tier data center. Works well has been working for decades. You can do whatever you want. You can make it work as efficiently as you, you like. The downside, the difficulty in, in this when we are running huge environments, when we are servicing thousands and tens of thousands of clients and customers with different kinds of needs, we cannot efficiently manage and upgrade and scale. It becomes overwhelming. So that's why we want to do something a little bit more sophisticated. So that would be cloud. But wait a minute, this is kind of exactly the same, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is exactly the same. But that was my point. Infrastructure wise, these two places, this, your on-prem, this cloud service provider data center can be one to one identical. The only difference, we have some kind of a dashboard, some kind of user interface where we can just control how much capacity I want, how many virtual machines I want Ubuntu installed on them, and then I click OK. This cloud environment automatically starts creating those virtual machines for you. When you spin them up from that point on, billing starts. End of the month, you will get the bill. This many virtual machines, this much networking and storage and compute capacity has been used. You can cancel at any point if you are happy with it. Continue if you need more. Just slide that slider a bit up and you get more capacity to virtual machines. Click OK and you're off, off, you, off you go. So that is what the cloud is. And that's what the cloud is good at. And that's basically all there is to cloud. So cloud is just an easy way of running enterprise workloads in data centers without having to worry about anything related to hardware and software. The cloud service provider will do all the installations, configurations, scaling, and maintenance. Of course, this comes at a price, but many organizations are more than happy to pay for that. If you want to learn more about clouds or overall about enterprise IT and earn a course certificate to brag with, sign up at academy.techenthusiast.com and become another happy student of ours. This concludes the first batch of videos in the series, but there will be more later on. Subscribe and hit that bell button to be the first to know when those will be released. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.